How's it going, guys? So, I was just doing my thing yesterday, you know, celebrations and what have you, and I came back to some messages, and uh, I got a total of seven boosters from two people, so I would like to go ahead and thank them, because we're going to go ahead and bust these bad boys open. I already redeemed the codes and whatnot. But let's buy... Let's buy all noble victories this time. I'm feeling good about that. Plus, I'm looking for some Asalagors to put into a lighter grass deck. So that would be fantastic if I could get a couple of those. But we're going to go ahead and buy seven. And uh, we'll see what I can do from here. I don't really mind busting open packs anymore because there's not really anything that I'm going to hound down for a new deck. Plus, I don't really have a huge uh, stash of... Um, fucking codes anymore. You know, I, I burned through all of them basically trying to make that steel deck. So my one shot to make a better deck would be to get uh, pretty valuable cards during these pulls and then trade those for packs and then just go from there, keep it up. But if I have the same luck that I did uh, on the last pack opening, that's not really going to work out. So let's see what I can get going here, I suppose. Um, I'm kind of tempted to like turn this into a live narration, but at the same time, like I don't know. Uh, probably not. We'll just do a post narration after this. Um, I'm mainly doing this right now just because I'm like I'm sitting here with idle time and I'm like I hate doing that. I just I want to render something, you know. It would be stupid of me not to. It would be a waste of time to not get anything done. So uh, let's go to these packs. Bust them open. First one. Anything good? I have a chandelier right off the bat. That definitely makes up for it. I know that card is. Um, Definitely somewhat wanted. I have an electric as well. I have an N. That's not bad. That's a that's a step in the right direction to make up from yesterday. I've got a V Create Victini. That's pretty interesting. Have another N. Uh, Palpitoad Eviolite. Not a particularly interesting pack, but hey, you know Litwick and stuff. Uh, we'll open up another one. Let's see what we got. Fucking Kiram. What the fuck's up? Holy shit! These packs are so good. Oh, Kiram and just ah. Uh, Awesome. Okay. Open up this next pack. Uh, Cathagrius, I'm just jumping right to the rares at this point. I'm like, um, okay, that's not terrible, I suppose. I keep getting Emolgas and Tynamo, so like, what the fuck? Okay, open up another one. What do I have? I have a Zebstrika, not even a good one either. Uh, Super Rod, Archin, I'm getting plenty of those. I could definitely look into running one of those decks. Have a little Axie here as well. I have two more packs, so maybe my next one will be an Archeops deck. We'll see. Um, was this? I have a Seismitoad. Does 30 damage times the number of your Pokemon that have the round attack? Lame. Lame, lame, lame. I have a Larvesta. And, uh, Do the Wave, which is only 10 damage as opposed to, uh, Chinchino's 20. Alright, last pack. Anything good? That looks good. Oh, shit. Holy shit, dicks. I got a Gigalith and a Terrakion. That is awesome. That's the, that's the better of the two Terrakions, too. Because you can do 90 damage and you can still do it next turn. I'm supposed to doing 100 and then having to wait. Plus, retaliate's really nice. So, these were actually pretty good packs. Way better than last. Oh, and I got a fracture. I don't have a Haxorus yet, but that is fantastic. I love it. I love it. These are good packs. Anyways, that'll do it for this pack opening. I don't know what I'll do with that. I'll see. I'm looking at building that Archeops deck. I'll have to look for a deck list for that. But, that'll do it for this pack opening. I'll see you guys in the game. Good evening everybody, or good afternoon, whenever the fuck I decide to upload this, but I'm actually going to be doing a live narration today, because I feel like I don't do that often enough, and I kind of hope that I'll run into a good game. But as you can see, I got five decks here. I'm going to go over the deck profile to this last one. It is nowhere near finished, but I'm going to play with a uh, better deck, one that is definitely more solid, and hope that it does good. I've had the advantage all night for whatever reason. Except in the... I feel like I played this guy earlier. I'm really thinking I played this guy earlier. Did I? I think I did. Hmm. I really do think I played this guy. But anyway, I mulligan, and that's kind of shit. I'm hoping I kind of get a Kobalion to make up for it. None of that? Wow, fuck you too. Okay. Um, hmm. Ideas, I have them. One, anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but... Let's see what happens. He picks Tails, I go first. Yeah, fuck you. Oh my god, I top decked the fucking Kabalion. This is... Awesome! This is just... Oh my god, so many th good things are going to happen right now. First off, big old fuck you to that Tyrogue. Uh, do I have my Cleffa? 
Uh, hell yeah, I do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that clink out of the lead spot with my switch. And then I'm going to bring in the Cleffa. And then hopefully I don't wake up because Tyrog is a fucking baby killer. But I am going to get a new hand and then hopefully come into some good things. I have one more energy. Let's go. One more. One more. Oh, fuck. Okay. And I wake up. Double. Fuck. Oh. oh. God damn it. Okay. What I can probably do here, though, is I can use Steel Coat with Skarmory. I can put down that Scyther and that Pawniard. Uh, or I can probably junk arm out one of those guys. Okay, let's see what kind of deck he has. I see Zubat, and then I see Co not Cobalt, Terrakion. I would love those Terrakions, the full art ones, but I have the regular ones. They do the same thing, they just don't have the little fancy graphic. He kind of looks like a mouse. Is that just me? But I think he looks like a mouse. Okay, he's definitely going to kill off this Cleffa with Tyrog, which is stupid. I am running Tyrog in that other deck. Only one, because I only have one. But they're kind of cool in that they do 30 damage that isn't affected by weaknesses or resistances. And, yeah. Um, oh! Oh! Okay, here's what I can do, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down Scyther and Ponyard and Skarmory. And hope I come into a fucking energy somewhere along the way. That would be fantastic. No energies. Re well, rescue it. I'll take it. I guess. Um, end my turn. Hopefully he doesn't wake up. Oh, wait. No, he was already awake. I, I can't kill him because he doesn't have any energy attached to him. Uh, I might as well just kill him off with Iron Breaker next turn. I want to kill off that fucking Golbat before it evolves all the way. And I also need to get rid of this Oddish, too. So priorities are probably going to be... Uh, oh, my God. This, uh, this I know Crobat is just really nasty. And it has zero tree cost. But i figure out what I'm going to do here. So what I will probably do is I'll put a Rescue Energy down on Cobalion. Just to have enough to Iron Breaker. And he wakes up. Wakes up like a motherfucker. I'm going to put that Rescue Energy down. Professor Oak out for a new hand. His hand sucks. Massive balls of dicks. Finally, that steel energy. Steel, damn steel energies I wanted. Awesome. Um, evolve that. And then I am actually going to catch her into that Oddish. Because I do not want that thing around. Just fuck you to that thing. Vileplume? No. If Vileplume gets out, then I can't use any of these catchers. And that's really dumb. So... Uh, Golbat, he's probably, he's sending out Golbat because he has Crobat, and to be honest, I don't give a shit, because I have Switch, and then what I can do is I can just put an energy down on anything else on my bench, probably like, uh, fucking, put it down on Skarm, and then switch out, and then he's just gonna do that to put in the Lost Zone, whatever, whatever, man, I can, I can repeat this process, um, that does 80 energy, I'm curious as to what he's gonna junk arm out, the Lost Remover? He's probably going to... Yeah, that's the only thing he can junk arm out. If he really wants to do that, fine. You know, to get rid of my metal energy, I do not care. I really do not, because I can just junk arm out other things. Oh. Well, if we're going to use end to be a dick, go for it. Fine. Um, drawn to a clang and a plus power. So, a little bit of a different hand, I guess. Um... Another Zubat. At least I got the Oddish out of the way. Okay. Um, Crobat is just nasty. I can't believe he's running those. And then, how many fighting energies does that need? Two? Okay, here comes the Cleffa. I honestly hope this guy deserves to flip heads on every single fucking Cleffa. Ah! Motherfucker. Motherfucker! Alright, now what I can do here is I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then, uh, now I know he could junk arm out for that lost remover. So because of that, it's I'm going to put a metal energy down. But I'm going to come out this clang, get my clang clang going. Clang clang. And then I can also get my bi sharp going too. Um, evolve. Oh, I can't evolve that guy yet. What? Why the fuck not? Um, last turn or whatever. Iron Breaker kills off the Cleffa, claims for my second prize. So. Uh, now we have two gold bats, and then I don't have any switches either. I just, I need to find a way to kill this stuff off. So, more gold bats. Gold bats everywhere. Dude, one of these is going to turn into a crowbat, and that's going to be really nice. Oh, that one. 
Let's show you what Crobat does. Four damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. Holy fucking balls. Ugh. That thing's so, ugh, so annoying. Okay. Now, the cool thing is, though, is I can shift off the energy off of Cobalion once things start getting really nasty. Um, hmm. So that's going to do 40 damage as opposed to anything else. Um, hmm. Now, I could switch it out if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to. Um, hmm. I'm going to be taking, let me see, 80, and then at the end of the turn, and then 120, I will die at the end of... I'm trying to do my basic math here. I'll die at the end of his turn, so if anything, I should be getting the energy off of that thing, like, right now. Um, what I'm going to do, evolve it. I'm going to pull off that metal energy. And then... Yeah, that'll be great. Um, I'm going to build up this Scizor, because, you know, Cobalion's already done his job. I have a couple other Cobalions, and then I'll do that like that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to let that thing die, because that severe poison is just really nasty. 80 damage, and then, hold on, let me see how much Scizor can do. I have, uh, let me see, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110. As soon as I put down that Metal Gear on, on it, I will be able to kill off any Crobat that enters the field in one hit, and then I have plus power for anything that, for whatever reason, would have 140 HP. But Scizor will be good to go after this. Uh, after this Cobalion dies, that is. Uh, oh, fuck. Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. But now that I have Cobal... Uh, not Cobalion, excuse me, Clink Clank, I can shift around the energy in case he wants to do any catcher business. And, um... I should be okay with that, but he decides to try to snipe at my Pawnier, knowing my Cobalion will die, and that is super for him. So, score's tied. Good for him. Uh, gonna do this, and then uh, shift another energy from Clink Clang onto this guy. Now, 30 plus uh, 20 times 5 would be 130, so I'm gonna kill him off with the Metal Scissors, and that's how that's done. And that claims you my third prize. Not really anything too useful, but Scizor's looking pretty good. Um, Tyrogue's damage will be reduced to 10 because of the metal energy. It's technically not a weakness or resistance. It just lowers the damage. So if he wants to go for that, he can. Um, uh, the problem is, is I don't want the Scizor getting poisoned by a Crobat. So that won't be too nice, but... The other, th oh, you know what he could do also? He could bring in uh, Terrakion to retaliate. That's what I'm thinking he'll do. So he brings out the Tyro just as a placeholder. Retaliate's going to do 90 or 70 after that. And now he uses Black Belt, which I don't know what the fuck does that do. Uh, during each during your active Pokemon, does 40 more. Fuck! Fuck my life! I was not expecting that. Okay, Skarm time. Scarm time, scarm time for the energies. And then I'm going to put down the Scyther. I did not know anyone actually ran Black Belt, but whatever. Uh, Steel Coat. And then I am just going to... I don't even know at this point. Um, I'll put it on Kling Kling, knowing I can shift it around later. But that Terrakion, well, the Black Belt, rather, caught me off guard. That's actually a pretty cool card. Um, does 40 more damage. That's like... That's four fucking plus powers. Oh, and he has the he has the extra energy. Okay, that's cool. But he shuffles out my hand, so that's not too bad, I guess. Um actually no, that's kinda bad. That's really bad. Uh what is this this Terrakion is about to do nasty things to me. Um Hmm. Depending on what I draw next, I'm just gonna send in this Pawnier to die. Um Oh, uh, I need to get more energy on this Kling Clang, because, um, things and reasons and whatnot. Yeah, that Ponyard's gotta die. Uh, hopefully Kling Clang can do some work and get two coin flips where they matter, because it's 80. It's, uh, what is it? It's 80 damage for each heads that I get. And I flip two coins, so. Right there, gear grind. So, does a lot of damage if I can get both of them. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to kill this thing off. And then just get this threat out of the way. But he's also got the Crobat too, which I do not want to be dealing with. And another Terrakion. No! No, 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 no. 
Uh, fantastic. I just need to shuffle out my hand. That would be super duper right about now. Okay, I gotta send in the Kling Kling. That is my one shot of winning right about now. Plus, I can also switch and then retreat out other things. Um, I'm fucking heart of the card shit right now. Let's do it. Oh, two heads. What's well, really good? That's what's good. And then, um, I have more prize cards left, so I could also get another energy going on in here. Now, what he could, what he's probably gonna do is, um, hmm. Now that I got the twins, this is actually gonna get pretty interesting, and you'll see why in a little bit. But uh, he's gonna use Professor Oaks as opposed to N, and then things are just this is this is getting really good. I'm not gonna lie. So be just because I have a switch in my hand, that's what makes it so interesting. Meaning that I won't have to burn off these energies, but these fucking crowbats, dude! I gotta take out both of those. Shut up. Okay. Um, hmm. I gotta think. I gotta think about what I can do here. Hmm. Hmm. Rescue energy goes on the Terrakion. He'll probably bring that in and retaliate. And that is just not something I wanna be dealing with. Kind of. Oh, the Crobat. The Crobat comes in. Okay. He thinks he's got this. He thinks he's got this. He really doesn't. Um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that, uh, I'm going to bring in the Terrakion so I can't, well, I'm going to use Twins first, but depending on what I Twins up is what's going to win me the match. I need to think about what I'm going to Twins up. Do I have another Scizor? Oh, what happened to it? Okay, it's got to be Cobalion. Oh, where the, what the fuck happened to my Scizor? My other one, anyway. Um, shit, 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 shit. Uh, it's probably gonna end up being... Oh! I don't even know what I want to do! Um, what am I getting? Another Cobalion, I guess? Or... Oh, a Switch. That'll probably come in handy, so... I get a Cobalion and a Switch. Some quick thinking. Alright. Now, I'm going to get these energy off of this. Thank God I can use that even though I have a status condition. Even though I could probably just switch it to the bench and then just do it there. That would be great. Uh, I have a Skype message, which I will pay attention to later. It's okay. It's okay. So, I'm going to switch to Cobalion. And then I'm also going to catch her out the Terrakion. And then I'm going to try to kill that thing off right now. And then I also have another switch to get rid of the poison as well. So um, he will have to use a switch to get the Terrakion out of there. And then what I can do is um, hopefully, hopefully I can draw to an energy. That way I can switch into Scyther, uh, discard an energy, switch out. Because I'll, I'll probably end up using the switch to get Cobalion out of there in case it gets poisoned. Or if I could draw into another catcher to take out that Zubat, that would be fantastic. Because uh, this is bad news. I kind of want to see what that message says, too. Um, I can only read WOW at the moment. Ugh. Uh, i got to finish up this video so I can respond to that. Well, I'm not really in a big hurry, but I would like to finish this game up soon. It's pretty good, not going to lie. But that Terrakion's fucked. And I really need energy or a catcher. That would be very much appreciated. If I can get either of those on the next turn. Okay, Ponyer, awesome. Yeah, good job. Way to go. What a team player. Um, I'm just going to Iron Breaker that thing. That's all I can do. Um, if I get an energy here. Catcher, yes! Ah, this is going to win me the game. This is fantastic. Because now I can just catch her in that Zubat or that Ty Rogue. And kill it off. I don't think he knows what I drew either. So, very close game. I am actually very fortunate to have gotten such a good live narration for one. Um, I hope he doesn't run because I really liked it. And I hope he watches this video because I had a super duper time. Um, Crobat's a little shit though. <laughs> He's so bulky as is noted by the other video too. 130 HP. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I, just to be a dick. Check out what I'm going to do. I'm going to put an energy on that side there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch. 
<laughs> oh, I'm such a fucking dick. Okay, retreat it, get rid of the poison, and then <laughs> I'm such a fucking asshole. Oh, heal off that poison because fuck you. Okay, killed off the tyro. There was my other scissor. Ta-da! Okay, well that's how we do live TCGO for funsies. Uh, Cobalion MVP, Terrakian MVP, that should lead for an interesting thumbnail. I think I'm probably going to put the MVPs in the thumbnails. But uh, that'll do it for this live narration. Um, I'm going to go do some things really quick, and then I'll show you guys the, uh, the deck structure of the Archeops thingy. So I'll be right back. All right. After that uh, fantastic game, I figured I would show off this um, this deck that I'm working on. Now I know what I want to do with it. I just don't know what goes good with it or how the fuck I'm gonna do it. I don't even have a good name for it. It's just like Old Hammer version two, because fucking Aerodactyl from the base fossil set did the same thing. But what Archeops does, its ability prevents. Uh, you know, Pokemon from evolving, and that is pretty handy. So what I've done is I'm trying to stock it up with powerful fighting basic Pokemon as well. Um, you know, Landorus being a good one, Terrakion being a very good one as well. Um, I've put Socks in there for filler. I do not want to be using those. I may put Tyrogs, but I don't want to be using Hitmonchan either. Uh, I have Clef in there just because, you know, Drudagon just because as well. That's not going to be a solid thing in there either. And then I also have uh, two Tyranatuses in here just because, uh, you know, lack of anything better to put in here. Uh, 15 Fighting Energies. It says 28 Trainers because it counts this as a Trainer and this is a Trainer because you can't use this as an actual Pokemon. It is a Restored Plume Fossil. Um, now, how Plume Fossil works is you look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. If you find an arch in there, you get to put it into play immediately. But if you don't find anything, then you don't get anything. Which is why I have the card uh, Research Record. Now what Re Research Record does is you can look at the top four uh, cards of your deck and put as many of them back as you like and then put the remaining ones on the bottom in any order. So what you do is in an ideal situation, you will be able to play a Research Record and then a Plume Fossil. And then if you find an Archon, then you can put it into play and then, you know, go for your Archeops, do whatever. But that's kind of a, you know, grasping all over your deck kind of thing. So I need to know trainers. That would be fantastic to work with that. And, you know, I just need other Pokemon to hold the fort in the meantime. So um, hopefully that gives you enough of a strategy. Those of you that actually do play TC Joe, if you want to help me out with this deck, uh, shoot some ideas at me, you know, stuff that would be relatively good, you know, trainers, Pokemon, anything in general. Uh, that would be very much appreciated. So... Uh, that's kind of what's going on with this deck. If I can get this going before Friday, then I'll make this Friday's video. Otherwise, I got another one waiting for you guys. And um, that'll do it out of me. You know, hope you guys enjoyed the live narration. If you did, you're welcome to leave it a like rating, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And I will see you on Friday.